Steve Schwartzman is as good a person as anybody to talk to about the issues that are most on people's minds this year. He's advising the incoming administration on economic and other matters. Trump will be inaugurated on Friday. Um, undoubtedly, some of the expected policies of the new administration will encourage you. I want to talk a little bit, though, about trade and the president-elect's pension for putting a spotlight on companies and decisions about hiring and the like. Does that concern you? Well, what, I, what I'd say to start uh, is there's a lot of very pro-business, pro-growth types of things that are going on, as you mentioned. Uh, that's why stock markets uh, are so strong. A currency uh, is uh, strong. Consumer confidence is at record levels for the last 15 years. So something positive is going on. Uh, in terms of things that uh, concern me, uh, is there are a lot of new things on the table. Uh, and it's not a concern, it's how we deal uh, with certain of the new things. Uh, in terms of individual companies being singled out, uh, if you're one of those companies, you wouldn't like that. Uh, I think what's happening with the president-elect is that, you know, this is a symbol for him. Uh, it's making a point that he really wants to keep jobs in America, and he wants to grow jobs in America. Uh, and there, there are people, uh, companies that get involved with that against, you know, sort of their volunteerism uh, to, to have to deal with that issue. Do you think that once he becomes president, there will be a course change and uh, some of the things that we think he might do, he won't do? For example, maybe stop targeting companies as he has been? Well, I can't speak to any individual issue. What I, what I can say uh, is, is he's a pretty flexible uh, person. And if something's not working, uh, he tends to, to drop it. Uh, and so his objective is to have a good outcome, you know, for the country. Uh, so, so if some of the things you're saying turn out to not be well received or don't work, uh, then, then uh, as most of his things, they'll, they'll go down and then finally go away. Talk a little bit about China. That's a big part of what you and I are talking about now. Um, how do you feel about um, some of the things the president-elect has said about China? And um, do you think there needs to be some change in our relationship with the country? Well, I, I, I think that overall the new administration is looking at all kinds of ways to improve things uh, in, in the states. Uh, and they're looking generally at, uh, you know, uh, issues of charges of things that come in the country, what we pay to other countries uh, when we bring things into their country. Uh, and I think there's a desire to lower the overall trade deficit uh, of the United States. Uh, and, and there'll be ways that that happens uh, in agreements with other countries. And you think there's scope to lower the trade deficit substantially? Like by what magnitude? There's room uh, to make significant uh, improvements. Uh, one of the things that I think is different uh, with this group is that they're very interested in bilateral trade. Uh, in effect, negotiating a deal that works well for that country uh, as well as for the United States. Uh, a lot of our agreements have been multinational uh, and, and uh, I think the new administration is quite convinced that they can, they can cut better deals just one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, and I anticipate that they will be doing that, uh, you know, with a lot of uh, vigor. Great. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Thanks for joining me, Steve. It's my pleasure. 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 Pleasure.